on my way to Al Wazel Plaza, where I will be meeting with two incredibly important people in the history of Interpreify. I am now entering Al Wazel Plaza, and what I'm showing you are hundreds of screens that at night time have all sorts of projections. And this is where we had the pleasure of seeing for the first time in this dome, Mr. Thomas Pesquet from the International Space Station. I am here with Amaru Farku, uh, who was an interpreter, is an interpreter for DLC, who is a great partner of Interpify, and was here on the big day. How was it? It must have been an amazing experience. I remember it now, and being here, being here in under this dome, extraordinary dome, and I remember seeing Thomas Pesquet just projected on that facade. It was, it was, it was unbelievable. Um, as a French citizen, I was celebrating French National Day. It was the first of the first of the first. It was the first National Day celebrated at Expo 2020 Dubai. It was the first day of the opening of the Expo 2020 Dubai and it started with a bang, with a good one. It was extraordinary seeing, um, I didn't even know it was possible <laughs> to have a live conversation with the International Space Station and me interpreting at that event, it was probably one of the most important events of my life. Have you have you interpreted for some for something this extraordinary and exceptional before, or would would you count it among your? I would count it if I was you among my top three probably experiences, lifetime experiences, interpreting or not. And most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Um, I've been lucky enough through the many years of interpreting here in the UAE to work for and with a lot of prominent people, politicians, um, a few presidents, a few kings. But this was very different because it's not a person that you have in front of you. It's not someone you see. It was on the ISS. <laughs> and the ISS was here in Dubai. And it made it an even more extraordinary event. It was one of a kind. One of a kind. Out of this world, I'm sure. So, Danielle, uh, you were behind the scenes in this amazing event. Uh, tell us a little bit of, uh, more about it. And first of all, I wanted to know, how long before did you know? Because if I was to participate in something like this and I knew a month in advance, that's a month of many sleepless nights. So, how was it for you? Uh, hi, well, uh, luckily, it, we didn't have a month, uh, <laughs> which I said luckily is uh, due to the sleepless nights that you just mentioned, but <laughs> we only had a few days, so we didn't have time to panic. And uh, it, basically, we have a few days to prepare entire uh, expo uh, oh. event. And um, yeah, uh, this uh, day one that was actually where we had uh, uh, International Space Station astronaut live there. Uh, that was uh, the amazing, uh, and basically it was the first uh, first of many sessions that will come. When I heard about uh, International Space Station uh, astronaut is going to be li uh, his uh, link is going to be live broadcasted in here on the screen, uh, I was I was really amazed. And thanks to uh, everyone involved, uh, Expo uh, technical team here, uh, DLC on site team, and of course Interpretify uh, remote team. Uh, we managed to get the interpretation from the uh, International Space Station directly to the live audience here, uh, and plus on the video link for the uh, remote uh, audience uh, that were watching this uh, this live show. So for me, that's that's really uh, really amazing accomplishment, and uh, I, I'm really proud of it. So I've. I've never had experience with such uh, such things, so uh, I, I'm not sure if uh, something like that will ever happen again, but uh, definitely I'm going to be always proud of, of this. Great. Um, Thank you. I was actually, I was going to ask you, just just like uh, Amaru, uh, does this count among your uh, top three, top five, top ten uh, lifetime experiences? Uh, definitely yes. Uh, I mean, I've had uh, m much complex events and everything, but uh, what we actually achieved as an end product, uh, it definitely counts within top three of the lifetime experiences. Um, and Amaru, can you remember what his first words were, or am I going to two way back? No, I believe his first actually. 
Actually, I think it was um, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Le Drian, who said the first words, asking Thomas Pesquet. We, we didn't know he was coming on screen. Um, no, actually, no, no, you're right. You're right. Thomas Pesquet had this first word and he said, Hello, Dubai, can you hear me? I, I was about to say, and because Drian, I did remember. Yeah, I... he said, Dubai, can you hear me? And then... <laughs> The minister said, yes, Thomas, we hear you clear. Welcome to Expo 2020 Dubai. Just thinking about it, I have goosebumps yes. as well. <laughs> I can imagine. And outtakes. Mm. Uh, Amaru Faru. I didn't get her name right in the first place because I'm that smart. And I also have Danielle, who was behind the scenes during take two, take two. And um, uh, we uh, we had. Where do I continue? You jinxed me. So saying you're that I was sorry. Perfect. <laughs> so I am here with. Uh... <laughs> That's not gonna be in the outtakes. That's gonna be in the video. <laughs>